Anytime you see a number under 200 Hz, the display is likely using DC dimming of some kind. Normally, DC dimming numbers line up with the display's refresh rate, especially on OLED screens, because the light emitted is directly affected by the refresh rate. That's because OLED pixels emit their own light. And if they have to change anything at all, the light must be refreshed in addition to the color. Some manufacturers, like Motorola, allow users to enable a flicker reduction feature that ensures this change in brightness is as minimal as possible. You can see that dip in the second graph the Lightmaster creates. This is the chart I most commonly reference, as it shows the intensity of the brightness and how deep the brightness dip goes. On the bottom of the chart, you can see the minimum and maximum brightness output measured, followed by the perceived average. On a DC dimmed OLED, you'll see periods of flat lines where the display is fully illuminated during the entire cycle, followed by a dip any time the entire panel does a refresh. Ideally, you want this graph to be as flat as possible to ensure a flicker-free experience. While DC-like dimming on OLEDs works for a lot of people who are normally sensitive to PWM flickering, there are still plenty of people who can't use OLEDs at all because of this dip in brightness. A display that uses PWM dimming looks like this graph. It's a constant on and off cycle that shows up normally as a distinct wave pattern. As you might imagine, this constant on off can be debilitating to some people. Given how bright most modern phone displays are, it's really no different from staring at a strobe bulb. As the display gets dimmer, you can see the cycle change from being partially lit to mostly off. Here, you can see the display typically stays off with very quick on pulses to give the illusion of being dim. Because I don't like the first graph, I always combine the information from the first page onto the second page, which is what you'll often see in my videos. This lets you quickly understand the wave shape, the brightness intensity, and the frequency. 